What is going on? What is going on, guys? Y'all know who it is, man. It's Darion from the Spotlight Sports Talk, and we are here with another video. We got the NFC Divisional Playoff that's going on at 8.15. It's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. We have the Dallas Cowboys going into L.A. against the number two team in this playoffs on the NFC side of the Los Angeles Rams. This is going to be a tough game to see. But before we get into any of that, what I need y'all to do, I definitely need y'all to hit the subscribe button and definitely hit the alert bell for all notifications in sports with the Spotlight Sports Talk. And once you're done with this video, please give us a thumbs up as well. Like the video and please leave your comments below if you want to have your opinion on who will win in this game between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Rams. So... Let's just get straight into it here. And we have the Dallas Cowboys versus the LA Rams. Best chance of Cowboys winning this game is with their defense and to run the ball with Ezekiel Elliott. It sounds obvious, but in this case, it's worth pointing out that the Rams allowed a league league of a worst 5.07 yards per rush this season. Elliott and the Cowboys star running back averaged exactly, exactly 5.07 yards per carry on first downs alone. The key to the Cowboys offense is Elliott picking up a large, picking up a uh, big yardage on first and second down and to keep the third down short and eliminate them entirely. Dallas' strength is on the offensive plays into the Rams' weakness on defense. The Cowboys need to hammer Elliott at the Rams aggressively to keep the front, the front of Aaron Donald away from Dak Prescott and to have to have to control the game for him. This, that's what I mean. That is that's what I mean when I feel the Cowboys need the chance to win this game. But their defense have to step up too. Because how you're going to stop Todd Gurley? Todd Gurley is the top one of the top backs in the NFL. But so is Ezekiel Elliott. So we have two top backs going head to head every single down when they're on the field. It's going to be an extravagant, extravagant game to show. But me personally, it's going to start with the line. It has to start with the line, and it has to start with Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper is the reason why uh, it's another key of them to win, to Cowboys winning this game, in my personal opinion. I do feel like with Amari Cooper in this defense with Sean Lee, Van Der Esch, and, um, this, this defense is very, very, very stout. And, um, and even Jalen Smith, even Jalen Smith as well, this defense can really get it done. But my question to the Rams is, can this offensive line get with this defensive line of the Dallas Cowboys? Because you're going to have to block for golf because he's not going to have enough time. But the weapons that golf has on the offensive side... It's just tremendous. So let's get into what is the best chance of the Rams winning this game. Honestly, it's a healthy tie, Gurley. Like I said earlier, the star running back has set out the last two final games of the regular season with a knee injury. I hope you know this bye week helped them heal enough just to get into the just to play the whole game and resume back to do everything back in this offense. You know, Dallas is fifth. In, you know, they the fifth best in the league in run defense. In the league, and thanks to, like I said, Sean Lee, Jalen Smith, and Vander Esch, it's important that Gurley contributes as a receiver outside the backfield to keep the Cowboys' defense from being honest. This game is going to be so intense, you know, having uh, Brandon Cooks, having Josh Reynolds, having uh, Tyler Higby, um, you got uh, so many weapons on his on his. Uh, St. Not St. Louis, but my bad, y'all. This Los Angeles Rams offense against this fifth-ranked defense, this is going to be a real tough game. It's going to see who has the better offense and who has the better defense to win this uh, to win this game. But as as a stat, everybody that needs to know, as brilliant as Sean McVay is, the Rams offense has been only 18th in the league this season in terms of red zone efficiency and the Rams, you know, converted a 55.5% of their red zone possessions into touchdowns. Only three teams were worse in that department. The Ravens, the Texans, and the Dallas Cowboys, who were pitiful at 29th in the league at 48%. 
So it's going to come down to the red zone as well. That's another key factor that people need to look at when they see this game here. It's a lot of stuff that, that you can say about this game on who's going to have the better leverage. There is no really, not honestly, it's not really nobody that have better leverage. This is really a neck and neck game in my personal opinion. This is going to be a hard hitting, well tough game. But at the bottom line, let's get straight to the bottom line here. Coming off of Bob Week and playing at home has obviously worked in the Rams' favor. As Dallas was only 3-5 and five away from home this season, the Cowboys aren't likely to win a shootout against the Rams. But they could make it interesting if they could show things down with the running game. It's only worth finding out whether confidence boosts Prescott got from winning uh, winning a you know a meaningless game in week 17 against the Giants carry forward but it did help him a lot in that game because he was clutch he had a clutch touchdown against the Giants with Cole Beasley having his knee in which it means is two feet in it shows that Dak Prescott can do it, it he did it in the last game against the Seattle Seahawks which I picked the Seattle Seahawks to win but at the end of the day, like, I just feel like the Rams can get this done. I really feel like the Rams can get this done. Jared Goff is going to take them down the field and kick a field goal to win this game. I really have the Rams winning 31-27. to 27. Um, That's my personal opinion there. I'm, no, 30-7 to 7 actually. Not 31. 30-7. to 7. I do have the Rams winning this game due to the fact that the Rams are very high quality on offense but if Dak Prescott and Amari Cooper can get you know things going and get Ezekiel Elliott going it's going to be a long game for this Rams team it's going to be a long game um they're not really good at catching up but I just feel like the Rams have the edge when they play at home they are a different ball team and just to just to think about it again Dallas Cowboys are three and five away they are three and five away from home and you know they are I think they're like undefeated when they at home as well but me personally I feel like the Rams are just a better football team than the Dallas Cowboys but I'm kind of nervous making this pick I'm really kind of nervous making this pick but I'm going to take the Rams here and the Rams will go to the NFC championship and that's my pick for this game here this is going to be a tough game to look at going to be a tough game to look at but let me know what y'all think about my prediction here let me know what y'all think comment like and subscribe hit that alert bell it's darion from the spotlight sports talk and we see y'all in the next video